Canada wildfires continue to devastate the western province of Alberta. Thousands of people have had no choice but to leave their homes and many more are on evacuation alert. The province having declared a state of emergency while firefighters are attempting to bring those blazes under control. And for more on those wildfires, I'm joined by Shirley Sitbon. Um, Shirley, Wildfires used to be extremely rare and astonish us, but in recent years, incredible dry weather conditions have led to these events becoming the norm, effectively. Um, and among the figures that have struck you in terms of anomalies in some areas in Alberta, they've reached, what, 20 degrees above normal? Yes, uh, it's incredible. Records broken, all-time records sometimes. And I can show you an article uh, because uh, it talks about uh, a record uh, with heat, 20 degrees. But then the same article does correct uh, this figure. This is a map showing how the weather evolves over the days. It's not so hot uh, at this stage, and then it gets hotter, then it gets to records. And at the end of the article, they explain, oh, sorry, this is not an all-time record. It's a record for the past one 125 years. So this shows how impressive the current situation is every year. And the last time we had this heat dome was in 2021. And again, now this time in Alberta, and we know there are many consequences. This is an area of Canada where there's a, a major uh, production of crude oil. There's also, well, a lot of cattle. So it, there are a lot of things to think about. Of course, the main thing is preserving people, their homes. For now, nobody has been hurt, no animal, no, no one, no one has been hurt. Now, with wildfires becoming more common, authorities are using rather their fire forecasts so that they can adjust their firefighting strategies. How is that index calculated? Well, it's calculated with various components, uh, the wind uh, in which the, the flames progress. And this is actually a map that was uh, shown in a French newspaper. And they uh, said, they alleged that this was the fire uh, in Canada. Of course, this was wrong. This is not the fire, but the probability of the fire expanding to those areas based on this index, the fire weather index. It's based on the moisture of the ground and the wind. And if it has rained, and this is uh, when a second map that We'll arrive in a second. We'll show the difference. Within three days, it got to this level, meaning all of the red parts uh, were gone uh, because uh, because there, it rained basically, uh, even mildly, meaning there's less risks of the fires expanding uh, right now. Of course, everyone in Canada hoping more rain, and this is how it's calculated. Uh, you asked me how it was calculated with various figures coming in. It just shows how complex this is, and it comes actually from Canada. Now it's used across. The the world. Now, it may seem counterintuitive, but briefly, um, just tell us in terms of what's going to happen with this bit of news, which is following the extreme heat, there's going to be flooding in the days ahead. Now, why is that happening? Well, because it's so hot. Well, just one second, images with uh, from satellite images of the fires, they can be seen from, from satellites. Uh, but yes, you were talking about this, uh, uh, this, uh, this water because there was snow on the mountains, but it's so hot right now that it's melting faster than ever. And this, instead of bringing in uh, water and fighting the droughts, so it's actually going to flood areas. So people are being evacuated from their homes because we're expecting floods in uh, British Columbia. Uh, but of course now uh, the situation uh, may change and evolve very quickly because there, there's been rain and milder conditions these days, but it risks uh, reversing itself once again in a few days and heat will be back in all these areas. So anything's to be expected. And Canada authorities, are, they're calling for volunteers. We've seen uh, more than a thousand firefighters getting there. Uh, but even now authorities say any Anyone, volunteers who know something who have skills in firefighting, please come and help us. Another sign of climate change having an effect both in terms of flooding and fire. Thank you very much for that, uh, Shirley Sitbon. Time now for focus. And although the Afri